Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So, <laughs> Cruz is mad because right now we just parked at his two month appointment. <laughs> And I feel like he just knows that he's about to get shot. So it was just like, literally right when I pulled up, he started like crying. So we're about to go in there, have his appointment. I'll give you guys an update when we get out. And then I'll also give you guys like a full update on like all his milestones and things Ooh. like that. So this video will be more like a vlog compared to my one month update video when I was just sitting down. So, yep, we are going in there now. Gotta get him undressed with a clean diaper so they can weigh him. How much do you weigh, Cruz? Last time we were here, he was two weeks old, and that's when he was nine pounds. So how much do you weigh now? Oof. <laughs> So Cruz is 14 pounds and 13 ounces and 23 and a half inches. And I don't know what his head circumference is. What was it? Did, mm. you, did you see it? No, but he did fine for that. Two month vaccination. So all these, one, two, three, four, five. But she said in total it'll be three shots. And this vaccine, she said it's a liquid, so he'll just drink it. It's a lot going on and I'm getting kind of nervous, but Darius is the one who always holds the babies because I can't do that because I'll cry and I'll pass out. So, Cruz, are you ready? Oh my god, my poor baby. I'm okay. You okay? Cruzy, all these scratches on your face. I need to cut your nails again. Cruz just pooped everywhere. Not everywhere. If his diaper wasn't there, it would be everywhere. Oh my god. Imagine he did it like white right when she opened up his diaper. Do the big one. Do the big one. <laughs> hey, there you go. Yay. There's my happy baby. There's my happy baby. It's okay. It just shocked you. It ain't hurt though. <laughs> See, I'm okay. I'm a big boy. Yeah, it's okay. That wasn't even a real cry. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Look, you're tough, Chris. Look at your face. Yeah, it's okay. He's tired. He's okay. Good right. job, Chris. He took it better than I thought. Because he's a boy. Because he's a boy. He's a big dog. You okay? <laughs> so. Look, you got two band-aids. It's Scooby-Doo. <gasps> Scooby-Dooby-Doo, where are you? Hey y'all, so it's the next day. I didn't finish recording yesterday because there's just a lot going on. Now I'm going to tell you guys all of Cruz's updates. At his appointment, after his shots, as you guys saw, he did, he like barely cried. He just had a little pout. In the beginning of the appointment, when the doctor came in, she was kind of like concerned just because like he was just sitting down chilling. She was like, he looks like a little grown man. I'm just like, okay, yeah, like he's just, and he, you know, he always has this like angry face, but, he does smile, he does smile now. But he was just smiling before she came in and then right when she came in, he was just like serious like. And she looked at him, she's like, hey man, hey, like trying to get his attention and he was just like staring into space. So she was like, hello, like she was like getting worried. So she like pulled out her flashlight and everything, like looking in his eyes, like, is he okay? Like, you know, I'm getting kind of concerned. I'm like, he's fine, like he's just staring like, and then eventually he like got out of his zone and like then started smiling. She was like, oh, I got worried there for a second. I mean, everything is fine with him. His weight is in the 95 percentile. Like, whoa, this boy is heavy. Like he's so heavy that me and Darius like complain when we have to like hold him in the car seat. Like that car seat is so heavy. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like he's only two months old. Like how are we going to continue holding him in this car seat? Like we might need to start leaving the car seat in the car and just take him out like that. 
but you know of course it's so much easier just to hold the car seat although it's very heavy well, she was very happy about his weight she asked if i was still breastfeeding and i said yes i guess she was like okay i guess as long as you're not overfeeding him because like you know i guess if he was formula fed and he was 14 pounds i guess she would be more concerned because you know with i guess bottles you you're the one who controls how much the baby eats and since the bottle just flows in the baby's mouth the baby's just gonna drink whatever is in there so i guess that's why she was like oh as long you know it's not like bottle wise or something like that she was saying his height he is 23 and a half inches she said that was in the 75 percentile she was saying with his weight a lot of babies will like go up really high in the beginning and then probably around like six to nine months they'll start like steadying out and she said all oh, that is normal she was like you know you guys aren't big people so i'm sure he's gonna start steadying out soon i'm just like okay whatever i like him chunky i like him fat i'm so happy that he's always nice and full after nursing and you know if y'all been following and been watching our vlogs you will know that breastfeeding has been a struggle but we are finally getting better i swear like after that lactation consultant like it's been completely better sometimes like my nipples still get sore you okay you okay you okay you okay you okay you okay think it's time for him to eat all right so i'm feeding him right now sorry and excuse the mess in the background. The doctor said everything was good. He had good head control. She put him on his belly and then his, he was like turning and he was like trying to get up and stuff like that. She was like, that's great. Um, she was like, around this time, please be careful with him rolling. She said kids or babies these days are rolling sooner. I don't know why, but she was just like, you know, a lot of parents that are coming in that Babies are rolling off their beds, rolling off the couch and stuff like that. So she was like, definitely start keeping an eye on him. I was looking at Mackenzie's two month update and I remember I wrote that Kenzie actually rolled over from her tummy to her back um, around the two month mark too. So he hasn't done anything like that yet, but he does like roll over to his side when he's on his back. He just likes sleeping on his side. So on my phone, I got to check to see other updates that I wrote down. He just literally just had like a huge like growth spurt. Like I can't believe like how big he got. When I made that breastfeeding update video, he was six weeks and he was 12 pounds. Now he's eight weeks. So two weeks later, he's 14 pounds. Like that's just like ridiculous. He was literally in size one diapers for like a week. And, you know, I have like my little diaper changing stations like in his room in the living room and our bedroom. And, you know, right when he turned into size one diapers, I like changed out everything, you know, opened up packets and stuff like that. And then after a while, I'm just like, this is looking small on you. Like his belly is huge. So I put a size two diaper on him just to like try it out. And like it fit him perfect. I'm like, great. So now I got to get rid of all these size one diapers so i have a lot of size one diapers that are open that i plan on giving to friends i do have these two huge boxes of size one diapers that we got from i think a gender reveal party or a baby shower i was thinking about exchanging them which i'm still planning on exchanging them but i don't know what size to exchange them to because i still have some packs that my sister gave me that were kind of open of size two diapers so i'm trying to use those first because i wouldn't want to change these boxes of diapers to get a size two and then he's gonna be a size three by the time i'm done with my size two diapers so i'm just gonna wait off on that also with clothes i guess i was in denial that he couldn't fit newborn and zero to three months <laughs> and i was just like okay like i'm really struggling to stretch these buttons to close them up so now he wears three to six month clothes he can wear six month clothing too so it just depends on like the brand and stuff like that. So like I said, we're still breastfeeding. I'm so happy that we are still breastfeeding. Like I said, it's getting better. I'm not pumping as much anymore. I'm still using my Hakka here and there. So far it's been seeming like he prefers one side. I'm trying to do research on it. I just started like looking it up like this morning. So I'm gonna still do more research on it. Like I said in my breastfeeding update video, he does better on my right side. So when I put him on my left side, he just like drinks slower or he just like, not play around, but he's just like, he's not as aggressive like he is on my right side. I don't really know why, but I still try to put him on my left side either way. I always switch sides 
you know if i feed them on my right side and one feeding the next feed i feed them on my left side so i try to do it like that so the best part of this month this monthly update is that he's smiling more oh my gosh like it literally just makes my day because when he came out like the whole first month like he was just like an angry baby he just looked at you like who the hell are you why am i here and now he is smiling he is interacting you know when he wakes up i'll be like hello and he just like gives me the biggest smile like it just makes my day hi <laughs> hey puppy how you doing how you doing how you doing baby <laughs> Get that tongue out. I love you. Oh, you mad about that? <laughs> you gonna smile for your pictures? Yes, I want that smile. I want that smile. Oh, another eyebrow. Okay. And you can tell that he knows people's faces. He knows people's voices. He could be with Darius and I'll talk and then he'll look. Like he'll literally move his head and look and like smile. He smiles at Darius, he smiles at Mackenzie. So he is like into us now. So I think he feels a part of the family now. He even coos now, so now he's cooing, kind of trying to talk. So besides the smiling, he's, you know, obviously he still cries when he's hungry. He cries like when he wants something and he has real tears and it like breaks my little heart. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like you have real tears coming down your eyes. And then he has this pout look, oh my gosh. It, it's just like, when he cries, like the pout is like so serious. Like, I'm gonna try to catch it on camera next time he cries. Although like, when he cries, you don't wanna like record that, but it's like so sweet. I'm just like, oh my gosh, don't cry anymore. Like he literally pokes out his bottom lip like, like oh my god i don't want to do it because i look crazy but <laughs> he does it way cuter and i'm just like oh my gosh so his pout game is serious he can get whatever he wants with that <laughs> tummy time i think i don't haven't really put him on his like stomach like that i try to he doesn't really not that he doesn't like it but he just like lays there he does better when he has like a pillow like under his chest or if he's on the boppy or if he's on our chest he does great with tummy time his head control is great like he lifts up his head he turns it you know he tries to look around he loves his activity mat now i know last but if i took i said that what i didn't really put him under there he didn't seem too interested but now he is interested he loves being under there he t tries to touch the toys with his little fist he tries to like touch it you know he can stay there for at least he's really content there for about like 15 minutes which is pretty good i think to me he stays under there he looks around he smiles at the toys so he's feeling that and he's also feeling his activity chair as well i'll leave a picture right here if you guys are interested and i'll also leave a link below to it but it's really cute so it's something that he could sit in and like it's like a piano at the feet so if he kicks it'll make noise but you can also switch it to so it can play music the whole time and then it has little dangling toys on top so he likes to sit in there too and also vibrate so i always thought he didn't like the vibrating um, modes in his like toys like because the halo bassinet vibrates too and i just like never put it on because i feel like i would be uncomfortable if i have like a continued vibrating sensation but I just started doing it like a few days ago and it seems like he really likes it. Like he seems really content with it on. So I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start putting the vibration on his halo bassinet too. Now I think in the last video I talked about how he was sleeping in between us on his boppy lounger. Now yesterday we just got the snuggle me organic bed little pillow thing. It's kind of like the DACA top, but it's a little bit cheaper. And so far, he is loving it. Let me show you guys these pictures. I put him in there, and right away, he, like, closed his eyes. He feels, like, nice and snug, so he feels like he's being held. It's like, oh, maybe he's going to sleep throughout the night tonight. He did not sleep throughout the night last night. So he is still waking up twice. He usually wakes up around between 3 and 4 a.m., and then again at, like, 6 and 7. Those middle of the night feedings like i do have to pump the other side just because i'm more fuller in the night in the early morning or whatever y'all want to call it because you know that's naturally when you make more milk so i do have to pump the other side or you know hand express into the haka it's kind of a struggle for me because like you know he'll eat for like 15 minutes 
but then I have to, you know, make sure I feel relieved on the other side, that I have to, like, get the energy to get up, put the milk away in the fridge and all that stuff. So, all together, it takes me about, like, 45 minutes to an hour just for me to go back to sleep. And sometimes I browse my phone a little bit too long. Cruise has also been drooling so much, and I don't know if, like, if it's the start of, like, teething or something like that. I know teething can start at three months, but he's only two months, and he's been drooling for, like, the past couple weeks. And I literally have to put a bib on him now. I haven't put a bib on him because I'm just like, well, he doesn't like spit up like that or anything. But I'd be putting a bib on him like just, you know, after feeding just because he just drools a lot. And I just can't believe I already have a drooly baby. It's just like how sometimes like if i don't have a bib on him like his onesie will be all soaking wet and since he like barely has a neck because like all that fat he's just like just drooling all over his clothes so definitely have to have a bib on him at all times and also recently he has been wanting to be held a little bit more i feel like the nap times during the day is it just depends because i try to be active i try to like go out you know go to places you know stay, stay busy not just stay in the house and then he does well you know sleeping because we're outside but when we're home all day you know it's kind of difficult because sometimes he'll nap in his swing and he'll be content but then sometimes he's just like no like hold me now lady you're not doing anything unless I'm being held. Sometimes I do have to wear like my baby carrier inside the house, you know, just to get some things done. It just depends on the day. So he's not like that every single day. So I think that's about it for his two month update. Now a two month postpartum update. I stopped bleeding at about six and a half weeks postpartum. I was so happy about that because now I can fully enjoy summer. Although it's hard to be pregnant during the summer because I was pregnant during the summer with Mackenzie in Florida and that heat is terrible. Postpartum in the summer, I think it's like 10 times worse. I don't know, I guess it just depends how your body is and stuff like that. But for me, it has been a struggle because this heat wave in Virginia has been ridiculous. I've been feeling disgusting. Like, so even like even when I was bleeding, I'm just like, great, I have to wear these nasty pads. I'm like, ugh, but good thing I stopped bleeding. But you know, now that like, I'm breastfeeding, like my boobs are huge, that boob sweat is ridiculous. So I'm just like uncomfortable all the time in this heat. So I try not to stay out long, but I'm happy that I stopped bleeding so now I can go in the pool, go to the beach. Although I don't like going to the beach anyway because it's just too damn hot. It's just so hot. It's so hot, it just pisses me off sometimes. I'm just like, I just might as well be in the house. Oh, I didn't look at you. I didn't tell you guys that. He went to the pool. Good thing I remembered when I'm talking about that. So Cruz did have his little first pool interaction. <laughs> I didn't fully dip him in there, but we was at the pool side and I was like just wetting his back and stuff like that. So you can put him in the pool. Oh, are you done? Cruz does sometimes spit up. <laughs> Not all the time, but he does spit up when he drinks too much and he just doesn't know when to stop sometimes. There's Kenzie, there's Kenzie. For the most part, he's pretty good. He doesn't spit up that much, just only once in a while. Say hi. Oh my God, you look so red. You're stretching too much. So what was I talking about? So yeah, he's been to the pool, only with his back. And then I was sitting on the stairs, so like his feet were in there a little bit. And he liked it. He was, you know, he was just like, okay, I'm in here. So I want to put him in the pool again. I just haven't gone back, but they can go in the pool. I know I Googled it before I did it. Cause I was just like, when can you put the babies in the pool? And, the, and Google said like, or what was it, babycenter.com or something like that, said that you can put them in the pool, like, I guess technically, like, right after birth if you want, but some people wait till they get their first set of shots. But they said there's some, like, swimming classes that start at six weeks old. I checked around here. I don't think they, they start at six weeks old here, but you can. Any other updates? So my stomach is going down, of course, not completely down. I have not started working out yet, although I should. It's just like, like I said, it's just a lot been going on. So, you know, I feel like, you know, I've been walking. I guess I was working out, breastfeeding. That burns 500 calories a day, but so, yeah. But also with breastfeeding, uh, I have been a lot more hungrier than pregnancy like i've been like starving i can eat a whole meal i'm just like what's next so he's definitely like <laughs> taking all 
of my fat and as you see it's just all going to his belly and his cheeks so he's taking all the food out of me definitely check out my six week postpartum update because i get into details about you know how my appointment went and what the doctor suggested i do and things like that so i think that pretty much sums up this two month update i can't believe he's two months already let's see i'm trying to show you guys how big he is <sighs> basically this is my weight i need to start doing this feel the burn all right Cruz we about to work out I can't that's how weak I am what did I ever do five so thank you guys for watching this two month update please make sure you give this video a thumbs up comment down below and make sure you subscribe and right now we're going to show you the behind the scenes of his two month photo shoot and the photos that made the cut